MacBooks are sleek, powerful, and expensive. But can they actually handle AutoCAD? Today, I'm testing AutoCAD performance on macOS, including real-time 3D performance. Let us dive in. What is up guys, Kweku Gestos here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's episode, I'm doing a test on macOS, that is, I'm going to use a MacBook 2020 to run a test on AutoCAD to check its performance and how it does 3D render. Let us dive in. We can't run a test on this MacBook without talking about the specification of this MacBook. So this MacBook comes with an Intel processor core i7. It has a 32 GB of RAM and a 512 GB of SSD. It also has iGPU that is integrated GPU of Intel Iris 650 graphics. This MacBook doesn't come with a dedicated GPU like Nvidia and AMD. So let us see how this laptop does great work or work overflow using AutoCAD 2020. We are going to run three major tests on this MacBook Pro. That is, the first test is going to be the interface and responsiveness. We are going to check how the MacBook Pro interface is and how it responds to commands and other stuff. The second test we are going to do is 2D drafting and performance. That is, we are going to check how laggy or how fast this laptop is able to handle 2D sketches and annotations the third test we are going to do is we are going to do 3d model and navigation now let us push further with 3d modeling so we are going to check how this laptop actually handle rotation zooming and other 3d editing that is editing component we are also going to check how this laptop is very smooth or whether it's very smooth or laggy when actually doing 2d or 3d models guys so welcome to my screen and this is how the interface of the AutoCAD 2020 on a MacBook Pro looks like. Alright, so the first test we are going to do is we are going to check the interface and how it responds to command. But I think personally, my personal experience over here is that the interface look a little bit smaller. I don't know if it is because this has a 13 inch screen, that's why the interface looks a little bit smaller. But I think with this tab, looking at the AutoCAD 2020 on a Windows version, the tabs where we select the test, the modify, the blocks and or other tools is found at the top of the software whereas the Mac OS version is found at the left side which looks a little bit weird for me because you need to actually come to this tab to select and it has actually eaten up a lot of space on the screen and looking at the right side too we have this commands over here which it is not a problem at all you can just use this command and just hide this tab just to give you a more working space on your screen all right so let us dive into it so with um, the 2d version we are going to do a simple table and i'll come to this tab guys as you can see it feels a little bit laggy right and we are working with a macbook 2020 version a core i7 processor and it's looking a little bit laggy so i'm not drawing anything to scale so i'm just doing this simple 2d sketch then we then use the same method and dive into the 3d sketch so i'm doing a simple table so that you can appreciate whatever we are doing so i'll copy guys so it feels very 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 laggy as the responsiveness is very slow and compared to that of a windows laptop so if you are looking for something professional please macbook is not the option best option for you when doing a professional work the fans sounds a little bit louder now because due to the processing happening at the background of this macbook 2020 model so it is how i'm going to do the table and chair so I'm actually going to do only a table. That's how I'm going to do it in the 3D space. And guys, it's a little bit laggy, very slow. But I think if you want a laptop to do only 2D drawings like plans of buildings and um, 2D architecture works, I think a MacBook is a good option. So guys, let us try the 3D modeling. So with the 3D model now come to this tab, unlike the Windows laptop where you just select or switch to a different tab. I'll come to this tab but one thing you have to also notice is that um, with the MacBook version of AutoCAD and the Windows version of AutoCAD actually AutoCAD as a whole company 
actually optimize the windows version very well compared to that of a macbook and it's basically cut across all macbook because a lot of software developers actually developing better um performance and better options on a windows laptop compared to that of a macbook the macbook has a limited um, options compared to that of the silicon chips that is the m1 chip m2 chip m3 m4 and so on and so forth with most of the card software i think um, the way forward is using a windows laptop to do all these works but if you are doing only two, uh, 2d works i think the macbook is a better option too so let us do the 3d modeling so with the 3d modeling i'll just leave it like this and enter the 3d space so let me change this to power now what i need to do is i need to press pull all the sides so i can press pull this to let's say this side i think this side is it's a little bit slow guys so it is my a simple table i've drawn for the sake of this test so let me just move it up a little bit so it is what i have and i have one more testing to do i have i already have a, a, a drawn project that is a bobby kill and i want you to guys have a look i transferred it from my windows laptop to this macbook for the sake of this test so this is how it actually looks like it looks a little bit nice but with the material selection this is not how it really appears on the windows laptop though i've selected these materials but after rendering it will look a little bit high quality and other stuff so without wasting my time We've talked about the interface, we've done 3D drafting and we've done 3D model and with the 3D model, it feels a little bit laggy and overall you can actually use it but it is not convenient as a professional to use this software in your workflow. So what I've noticed about this laptop is that um, there is a major issue that Mac OS don't support rendering from the Mac OS from the MacBook 2020 version. It doesn't support rendering, and we always have work around for rendering on MacBooks. But don't worry, there are work around if you need to render on your MacBook. Here is what you can do to actually do it. So the first option is run MacBook for Windows. That is, you can actually install Windows on your MacBook using the bootcamp for intel versions only and you can also use the um, i think the parallels for the silicon version that is the m series macbook so the second option you have is that you can also export to a render software so with something like the fusion 360 the cloud render version is available or works on the macbook version you can also use rendering softwares like the blender and keyshot and it is very free and with the key sword it is easy to use and it is compatible with macbooks and with the option 3 you can also use the autocad lt version for simpler works and with the lt version it is very limited if you don't need any rendering in your works you can actually use this um, autocad lt version so these are the pros and cons of this macbook pro after doing the testing here is what i found that is, we are going to talk about the pros and cons of this MacBook Pro. With the pros, it has a good battery life. That is, it performed well holding up the battery compared to that of a Windows laptop. This MacBook was able to actually hold its battery life for a very long time. And also, if you are someone who does only 2D sketches and drawings, you don't actually need a bootcamp or install your a Windows software on your Mac OS. And with the cons, this MacBook actually don't come with the rendering services, which AutoCAD has removed the rendering feature or the rendering command on this MacBook. But I actually showed you the way around. You can actually install Windows on your MacBook and also have boot camps and other stuff. You can actually use an alternative 3D softwares like the Fusion 360 and other free softwares available. So my final verdict of this whole test is that is AutoCAD actually good for MacBook or is AutoCAD actually good to run on MacBook Pros? Let me know what you think.
think in the comment section but with my final verdict i think autocad is actually good in 2d sketches and other stuffs or 2d workload on the macbook compared to that of a 3d workflow because you are limited to the kind of stuffs you do on a macbook compared to that of a windows laptop autocad is actually optimized very well on a windows laptop compared to that of a macbook so if you are a professional looking for something to give you a speed time or looking for something to give you quality work done but i think a windows version of autocad is actually good for you than the mac os version but if you are someone who does only 2d drawings i think the macbook is a better option not best option but it's a better option for you to actually go let me know what you think in the comment section if you find this video helpful make sure you hit on the like button make sure you hit on the subscription button and share this video to your friend catch you guys on another one peace out